Well, honey, time for new beginnings. Let's hit the road. Well, honey, wish me luck. I love you, and I will see you when I get back. What is going on, everybody? Farmer Mike here. I welcome all of you that are watching, and I hope you're all doing good. Uh, my wife and I, we just moved from Elm Creek to Wyoming so that my wife could go to the University of Wyoming. Uh, uh, she's going to be majoring in business management. Prior to this, my wife worked full-time at the tractor supply in Elm Creek. I was doing construction and logging. I did some truck driving as well, so I have my Class A. Uh, but we decided to move to Wyoming so, my, so that my wife could uh, pursue her dreams in, in uh, business management. It was definitely a very costly move to get out here, but it's, uh, it's, it's definitely going to be worth it, I think. Uh, so, uh, my wife... Uh, she's got a part-time job at the tractor supply here as well as going to college. Uh, so today's goals for me is to return these two U-Haul trailers down to the local U-Haul place. Uh, and now I gotta find myself some work. So that's gonna be kind of what I'm doing today. Uh, this is our dog Sierra, uh, right here. Um, make sure I feed her before I go. I guess she, oh, I guess she's already, she didn't eat the last food I gave her. Well... It'll be there when she wants it. So yeah, I'm gonna hop in here uh, to in my classic Ford. I'm a Ford guy, so uh, get these trailers taken down. I got the last trailer hooked up here. I'm gonna head head back over to U-Haul and drop this off. Uh, I did get some good news while I was down there, though. I asked the guy at the U-Haul place of uh, places uh, that he thought might be hiring around here. Uh, he gave me a few names of some people that are looking for some work. Uh, they happen to be farmers. Um, that's not something I've really done before, but I'm willing to learn. So, after I get this last trailer dropped off, I'm going to go uh, speak with uh, at least one of the guys named... Well, excuse me, at least one of the guys that he gave, uh, gave me a name to. Uh, start there first. Uh, I guess there's some... You know, those, those farmers that he gave me the names to, uh, I guess they're really in, in real dire need of, of help right now. It's the end of the season, they're a big push to get some farming done, so uh, they need some extra help to get what they need to get done before winter hits. So we're going we're gonna to see what happens after I talk with them. And Maybe 
See if maybe they will uh, need any help. Uh, so, hopefully, hopefully I can get my foot in the door there and uh, maybe uh, do a little farm work, something, something new. Just got this door off here. Then I'm going to run in and finalize what little bit of paperwork I got to do here. All right, so that's all done. Uh, I'm going to head down to where uh, one of the farmers is that I was told about and see what, uh, see what uh, he has to say. All right, well, that went pretty good, actually, so uh, I, I talked to the I talked to the gentleman and gave him my background and work and whatnot, and he seemed impressed, and I guess, uh, I guess it's uh, a go. Uh, he's going to, you know, I told him I don't have any experience with farming, but he's going to take the next few days to, get, you know, give me a quick rundown of what needs to be done and how to do it so I might be able to learn a little bit on farming equipment and whatnot so hopefully in the next few days I'll be starting uh, starting my new job so that's exciting news I'm gonna run home and tell the wife and uh, I'll see you guys in a few days uh, with my new job good morning everybody I am off to start my new job farming. I spent the last few days uh, with my new boss learning how to run some farm equipment and uh, him, him showing me all the ropes and what to do and whatnot. And uh, it wasn't it wasn't really all that bad. I'm pretty used to running heavy equipment anyway, so uh, I got the hang of it pretty quick. So right now I'm going to head down. Uh, to where the the tractor, the plow is located. I get to hook all that up and head over to a field and do some plowing. Uh, like I said before, it's the end of the season. Here we are, it's September 2nd. Uh, there's not a whole lot of farming left to do, but there is some stuff that needs to get done before winter gets here. And some of these farmers around here are low on help, and you know they just got their need of. Uh, few extra hands to get them to get them uh, finished up for the for the season so I was lucky to be able to get on board with a farmer uh, one of the local farmers uh, so which is good because uh, need to bring in some money for the family uh, right now we're just renting a trailer until we can get our Selves established to be able to hopefully our goal is to be able to buy our own house here in Wyoming but uh, for the time being we had to rent a trailer uh, for a temporary place to, to stay so but uh, all right so here we are uh, we're gonna come in here grab the tractor and plow and there's the tractor there's the plow uh, he's running some different equipment brand wise that I'm used to. He has uh, this particular tractor's a Fend, I believe. I believe that's how you say it. Not a brand I'm familiar with uh, or know much about. I'm more of a John Deere and Case guy, but uh, it's definitely a nice piece of equipment. So I'm gonna hook up. So I'm gonna hook up to this plow here, and I gotta go down to. Uh, field number three, I believe. Uh, it's the field I was practicing over the last few days. Uh, getting used to the tractor and the plow and how everything works. So I've kind of made a small... Uh, oh, what am I trying to say here? I made a, a path there on, on this field I'm headed to. Uh, so I kind of already started it, started it, but it's not nowhere near to be done. So I'll see you guys down at the field to get some get some plowing going here. All right, so we're at the field. I got the plow in position, and uh, let's get plowing.
As you can see, I've got it plowed, uh, and they're such a they're in such a big rush to get everything that they need to get done. They had a guy behind me uh, liming, putting lime down as well as cultivating. So pretty much, it was three of us on the field going around and around in circles because it's a you know a circle shaped field. So. Uh, yeah, I did the plowing and uh, a few others was cultivating and liming and whatnot. So this field is done. Uh, there was some some issues with this tractor during the plowing. So uh, I called the boss man. He s I told him what was going on. He didn't sound like it was uh, anything too concerning that I was able to continue plowing. Uh, but also told me to take it back down to where I got it so that the mechanics can take a look at it to make sure it's going to be uh, all ready to go for the next project. So that's what I got to do right now is drop all this equipment off where I got it and then I'm going to call it a day. I was told that's all he has for me currently uh, but plenty of stuff to do tomorrow. So uh, I'm going to drop this back off down the road here, and I will see you guys there. All right, guys, I'm back at the shop, and my day here is done. It was a good, successful day, I feel. Uh, a few hiccups here and there, nothing too crazy. We got one field completely plowed, cultivated, and limed, uh, and ready to go. Uh, it took three of us to do it, but... Uh, we worked good as a team and we got it done so very successful day very successful day for me on my first day of farming ever uh, so yeah with that being said I'm gonna I'm gonna head back home uh, spend some time with the wife uh, get some sleep and rest for tomorrow I'm not exactly sure what tomorrow's plans are uh, obviously some more farming but I haven't been given uh, given the exact details on what I'll be doing tomorrow. I just know I got to show up back here at the shop tomorrow uh, between 6 and 7 in the morning. So hopefully you guys will join me back tomorrow uh, to see what my next endeavors are with farming. Uh, so if you guys liked what you watched, uh, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe. Uh, and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Take care.